Right. In this video, we're going to quickly point out another strategy that sometimes works for factoring, um, in this case for cubics. This is probably something you're most likely to apply in the case of a cubic polynomial. Uh, so what you do here when you're factoring by grouping is you kind of, you pair the first two and the last two terms. You kind of set those aside. And in the first two terms, there is a u that's common to both. In fact, there's a u squared that's common to both. And, and so what you do is you factor that out. So you say, okay, in those first two terms, if I factor out a u squared, okay? In fact, I even factor out a 2u squared, right? There's a 2 that's common to both. So I factor out a 2u squared, and I'm left with, well, here, to get 2u cubed, I have to take 2u squared and multiply by u, right? And here, for 4u squared, well, I've got 2u squared, I have to multiply by minus 2 to get minus 4u squared, okay? So you factor that out. Uh, then you come to the last two, and you say, okay, what can I factor out from the last two terms? Um, well, there's a 3 that's common to both, so I factor out the 3, okay? And in this case, I get kind of lucky because you'll notice that once I've done that, I have the same factor here and here. So think now about reversing sort of distributive property if you like. I can pull that out as a common factor. So I factor out the u minus 2, okay? And then I'm left with 2u squared plus 3, okay? And that's as far as I go. I can't factor any further, right? Um, this is a sum of squares, right? 3 is the square of root 3. And, and as we pointed out, a sum of squares is irreducible. So you can't factor this any further. You stop there. If you're looking for roots, there is exactly 1. When u is equal to 2, the polynomial is 0. Okay? Um, so that's factoring by grouping. It's, it's something you can always consider, but it doesn't always work. Okay? We'll do a couple of examples. Um, in later videos where this fails and we have to look at other techniques. Um, I'll mention one more option before we move on to sort of some more general methods. Um, you might run into what you might call a quadratic in disguise. And, and these typically show up in degree four polynomials, sometimes higher, um, where you might have something like the following. You might have, say, x to the four, okay, plus three x squared plus two, okay? So that's a degree four polynomial. In general, degree four polynomials are quite difficult to factor. They take a lot of work. Um, but one of the things that you might notice is that there are no odd powers in here. There's only even powers, right? And in fact, x to the four is really, you know, we could write that as x squared squared, right? And then three x squared plus two. Um, so if we wanted to, we could think of this as like y squared plus 3y plus 2, where y equals x squared. And we know how to factor this. This is going to be y plus 1 times y plus 2. Ah, but we should end in the variable we started with, x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 2, right? And because those are both sums of squares, you can't factor any further. Both of those are irreducible quadratics, right? Um, if we had gone with, say, a minus sign here, we'd have minus signs there, and then we could factor each of those as a difference of squares, but um, that's not the example that we had. 